Right. But how much, yeah, how much energy does this get? Here we go, Justin. Sorry, it takes a hell of a lot of energy. Justin, can you repeat the question? But it's, it's oh. when you look at the whole like economies of scale, the cost and the energy comes down when you start launching a lot more people. Well, if you're going from one side of the earth to the other side, it becomes more efficient than if you're. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so so from, if you're from going like from here San, in Tokyo, if you're going from right. San Francisco to LA, which is more efficient, a spaceship, an airplane, or a train? And now <laughs> we're going to have our aerospace <laughs> engineer here. <laughs> but if no, I thought you said the plane. But if you're going from San Francisco to Tokyo, you probably want a suborbital you, station. You need the plane. Or a plane. And Josh is an aerospace engineer, so that is so officially biased. Right? So that is why a plane <laughs> is better than a train. <laughs> But we were, the reason we got on this debate was we were talking about LA to San Francisco on a train. LA to San Francisco, I would take a train. Exactly. Wait, you would take the train over the plane? If the train is as fast and as cheap. But they're just, not as fast. Yeah, right now. But it's fire away. Whatever. Whatever. I. Rail. Yeah, and once you have the time of waiting at the airport, yeah, we, we give up. I think. I still think the plane is better. We give up. Two hours.